So if this formula that society gives you that you should go to work, get a job, retire, all of that, if that doesn't guarantee health, happiness, and true fulfillment in my life, what is that missing ingredient that separates people who just live comfortably, successful and comfortable, versus the people who live a life of true passion, meaning, and fulfillment? What is that gap? That gap lies in the answer to this question that you must absolutely ask yourself to elevate your lifestyle and the quality of your life to the next level. And that is... Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to create more purpose and meaning in your life. Do you feel like you're stuck on a daily grind? Maybe your life looks something like this. Every day, you wake up, eat, go to work, eat lunch, come back, eat dinner, maybe watch some TV, check some social media, and then go to sleep. Next day, same thing. Wake up, eat, go to work, repeat for days and days, weeks, months, years. Do you feel this way? And do you also feel some kind of sense of frustration with your life, but you have no idea where that frustration stems from? I know I once felt this very, very heavily. I was so frustrated with my life and so angry and I didn't know why. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to break through that frustration and find clarity in your life. Many people just think of their lives in that system that I just described, like a conveyor belt. You do A, then do B, then do C, and then do D. So think about that in a whole life scale. We go to school, we go to college, we get a job, we buy a house, we get married, we retire, we maybe look after the grandkids and live comfortably. Do you have this image and this goal in your life? Most people chase this image of their lives as the best life. But let's think about it this way. We have many, many people in our personal lives and also in other people's lives who have lived within those checklist items of how society tells you to live your life. But do these lifestyles necessarily guarantee happiness, health, and peace from within? Maybe you even know people who have lived exactly to a T to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but they still didn't have health, they didn't have happiness, and they didn't have peace. Have you experienced this? Let me know in the comments below if you have or have not. So if this formula that society gives you that you should go to work, get a job, retire, all of that, if that doesn't guarantee health, happiness, and true fulfillment in my life, what is that missing ingredient that separates people who just live comfortably, successful and comfortable, versus the people who live a life of true passion, meaning and fulfillment? What is that gap? That gap lies in the answer to this question that you must absolutely ask yourself to elevate your lifestyle and the quality of your life to the next level. And that is, is there something more to my life than this? Is there something more to my life than the status quo? In other words, is there something more to my life than what I know now? When you ask yourself this question, what do you feel immediately? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear. So I also was someone who lived a very, very normal life, studied hard in school because I wanted to get good grades, to go to a good college, to get a good job, to be successful and have enough money to live comfortably, retire comfortably, and just relax. I, that's what I thought my best life would be. But when I lived my daily life in pursuit of that idea, that picture that I had of my life, I found myself very, very frustrated and very, very stuck. Maybe you feel this way too. But when someone asked me this question that I'm asking you now, what do you think there is more to your life than just this? I was kind of shocked because I never thought about it. I, don't, I didn't see anything in t on TV or in social media or in school. Nobody told me to think about my life beyond just this box. 
But when you ask yourself that question and you find the answer, that is what will lead you to something that I believe that everyone needs to practice, which is spiritual development. So spiritual development, there's a lot of bad connotations about, oh, spiritual, that's for hippies, and oh, that's not for me, it's not scientific. A lot of people have a certain connotation of the word spiritual, but all that really means is, is take a journey inside of yourself and get to know yourself as a human being, not your labels, not what society tells you you are, not what your parents expect of you, but seeing yourself as a human being and understanding what it is that I want to do with my life on a human level, basic foundation, human level. Even asking yourself that question, is there something more to my life than this? That is the stepping stone that opens the doors of the possibility of you finding who you truly are inside. When you find who you truly are inside, that is when you can find your purpose, that is when you can find the direction that you should take your life, and that is when you can find what kind of impact that we want to leave in society. So now in our 21st century, a lot more people than before have more access to luxuries and comforts than ever. We have advanced technologically more so than we ever have. So I believe the true next step that everyone needs to do and focus more on to live a healthier, happier, and more peaceful life is to even think about taking that journey inward to find who they are. Find what it is that I want on a human level, what it is that I want to leave behind, what it is that I want to do to impact society, impact my people, save my family, save myself, save my people, and save humanity together. I believe everyone has a gift to share, but not everyone believes that they have a gift to share. The difference between the person who makes it and the person who doesn't make it is they both have ways to impact the world and leave something behind, but the person who believes that this is true is the one who makes it. The person who doesn't believe that this is true is the person who just lives that flat, comfortable life, frustrated, and not knowing exactly why. So if you're watching this video, if you have an interest in boosting your brain power and living for something beyond the box, beyond the system, I encourage and invite you to ask yourself this question. Is there something more to my life than what I know now? Take some time to ask yourself that question and let me know in the comments below this way. My life is like this, but is there something more to my life than this? Whatever that answer is, whatever you feel, I would love to hear it. So please leave in the comments below and I'll respond to all of them. So the answer to this question might not come immediately. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with you. Just keep asking yourself that question wherever you are, whether you're walking, driving, at school, with your friends, Take a step back and wonder, is there something more to my life than just this? And when you ask that question and find the answer, that is the beginning of true self-development, self-growth, self-evolution to live a life with purpose, meaning to do something greater than yourself, greater than what you know now. Everyone has the desire to upgrade their life. I don't think there's a single person who will say, Actually, Linda, I want to live worse today than I lived yesterday. Nobody, everyone wants to improve. So if you're someone who wants to improve their life, ask yourself that question. Could there be something more than what I know now? If you're either stumped or you have the answer to that question and you're wanting to know the next steps, how you can develop from there, I'll link the next video you should watch down in the description below.